What is up guys? Welcome to the Sydney Hemp Health and Innovation Expo. My name is Louie and you're watching Green Fund TV. That's like quinoa. It's basically the best source of omega 3, 6 and 9 and plus this is the most digestible protein that you can get from any plant. So what that means is you can actually survive on hemp and nothing else and you'll get pretty much all your nutrition. The biggest thing that's happened recently was the legalisation of hemp foods. That was what we needed to actually push the industry forward. It ticks all the boxes. I mean, it's good for the environment, it's a good product and it delivers. I mean, I think hemp can really make Australia great again. There's quite a bit of work being done on some of the symptoms of dementia and they've got, got these chronic medical conditions uh, such as chronic pain and nothing else is working so cannabis seems to, to work for some of those patients and whilst they might not get 100% of pain relief um, to reduce the pain score can be huge for their quality of life. We're still early days of a, a quite exciting industry. 35% of people with epilepsy don't get help from the currently available uh, epilepsy medications. We've got children that we know that have become seizure free. So if you can take cannabis and it's quite safe and you get the same effects from something that's going to actually cause you some other side effect in some part of your body. For some really, really sick people, it's been the only thing in their lives that, have made a, that has made a difference. So there's a need for more education, more acceptance by medical practitioners. There's a range of exciting possibilities there, but research takes time, of course. But it would seem there are probably three or four cannabinoids that are even better than CBD as an anticonvulsant. So I think we just don't know what we don't know yet. We're scratching the surface. I think we need new politicians, new lawmakers, because these guys obviously do not have their fingers on the pulse. So if they can treat successfully an army person who served for his career, for his country, then why the hell are we stopping that? This is a fantastic frontier and cannabis is like the mother plant. Those people that we see daily who are off opioids, I have a lady with me right now, 25 years on methadone, and this weekend she's off it and that's just from CBDA. Our clinics have um, had approval for over 50 different medical conditions. Chronic pain, anxiety, stress, insomnia, and inflammation. So that is most definitely a condition or a symptom in which we can get medical cannabis approval. The entire time from us consulting with you to um, seeking approval to dispensing the medicine is approximately seven days. You know? Which is it's actually a lot shorter than what people think. The research shows that it is safer medicine um, and I think the future is bright for people to be able to access it more easily. This hemp t-shirt I can wear for four weeks in a row, no wash, no smell. Because hemp is a natural antibacterial, antimicrobial. Now just think about that. So, cotton uses four to five times as much water, generally as hemp, and uses far more chemicals than hemp. So the, the answer is simple. If you want to be, have any concern for the environment, grow hemp. This whole explosion of interest in industrial hemp is because you could never make enough money from seed, but now you can with the decortication problem solved. But the explosion is on and you guys are part of that process. The other big opportunity right now is composite materials replacing all plastic with hemp. We have contacted Lego. Lego has announced that it wants a biodegradable product. I am absolutely satisfied that hemp can produce a biodegradable product and I'm absolutely, I have no doubt that when you finish with those Lego blocks, you just crush them up and put in the garden. Companies are in trouble. They have to solve their environmental impact problems, their greenhouse gas emissions. Hemp is their solution.